So, contemporary thon starts in uh, two minutes. So, get ready for daily vlogs. Hey guys, it is now uh, midnight, uh, start of contemporary thon. And uh, just sitting here with my boo, trying not to have my titty fall out on camera. All right, it's officially midnight, so we can now start like water. Um, welcome to Contemporary Thong Vlogs, guys. I am naked in bed, as you will see many times throughout this week. Uh, I feel like that happened last time, but that is my preferred method of reading. Um, yeah, so we're starting Like Water. Uh, that is the buddy read, group read, and I think majority of people are starting with this book. I might read for like half an hour, not take my makeup off, <laughs> and go to bed. Good morning guys, welcome to day one of contemporary -a -thon. Um It is about two o'clock in the afternoon. I stood up last night and read, and I read a bit this morning. Really haven't gotten out of bed, haven't washed my face. It's just that kind of a day. Um, but I did finish Like Water by Rebecca Potas. Um, I did tab off like some spots that I like. Um, I think I'm going to sit on what I decided to rate this. Um, I really enjoyed the book, but I felt like it's almost just a very simple just story. Like there was some things that, you know, were a little bit dramatic, but maybe not as dramatic as stuff that I normally read and so I feel like it was just sort of like a cute story. This is my uh, TBR shelf for those of you that don't know. There's like 120 books right here but um, this is my stock for readathon books and this is the books that I've read this month. So that's kind of how I divide my stuff. This is questionable things, possible things that I need to get to sooner than later. And then I think I'm going to move on to either Anna and the French Kiss or the Little Paris Bookshop um, just because I realized I have two books about Paris and I don't want to read them back to back and I feel like if I read all the ugly and wonderful things sort of in between it'll kind of break up the happiness. Not fun book to read. Look at this creepy shadow. My shadow is like... Ooh, I'm a chicken. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to wash my face, get ready. We might be going to a bookstore a little later today to get some tea. I know we have a family dinner tonight. Watching my girl Chelsea here, but uh, what is this? What is this, Chelsea? What is this Christmas joy you spread? <laughs> but no, I'm just messing with it. You guys know I'm not uh, a Christmas fan, so I'm like... It's your October wrap up. Where's the pumpkins at? Cool with being in my vlog today? What's that? So, you're cool with being in my vlog today? Totally cool with being in your vlog. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't touch the skulls. Don't touch the skulls? This is just a book about the Grand Budapest Hotel. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's called Call an Exorcist. <laughs> Chapters. Going to look at books. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. So pretty much just come to the horror section and any book in this area and we're good. So I just like laid it out. These are all five books that are actually on my Christmas list. <laughs> just in this section. So, about 9.17 at night. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier that I did end up finishing uh, Like Water by Rebecca Potas, so that was my sort of success of the day. I haven't read anything else uh, because I kind of got ready. And then as you saw, we went to my favorite um, used bookstore, got some tea and some like really cute little donuts. Super good donuts, by the way. 
Um, but I did find a book at the used bookstore because of course I can't walk in there and not get a book. Um, I didn't find anything in like the fiction section that I wanted though, but I did end up getting Bird Box by Josh Mallerman, which I've heard, um, I think Kayla from Books and Lala talk about out as well as a couple other people but I've heard this is a really good like horror uh, scary kind of book so I'm into it needed to pick that up it was pretty cheap um but yeah so that's it for today um, I am going to be starting tonight while I'm in bed the little Paris bookshop but I will update you guys tomorrow I'm doing with that but yeah so a little bit about like water I'll definitely want to do like a uh, contemporary thon wrap up because uh, I have opinions. I'm really curious to see what other people think of this. Like, it's not like I need other people's opinions to sort of justify my own. It's really curious to me, like, what are the parts of this book that people enjoy. So you can see I didn't mark anything off until, like, a little bit past the halfway point. And then that's when I really started to get into the story. Um, this was a cute book. I just feel like there wasn't anything too particularly, um, deep or too gripping, which is fine. It's just, it was just more of, like, a cute story for me. Um, so yeah, I definitely am excited to see what other people's opinions are in regards to a, a couple of spots in that book, actually. But anyway, that's it for today. So I guess my word count for day one so far is uh, something like 312, 313 pages. So that's what I read today. And then probably a little bit more because I'll finish a little bit of this before midnight. But regardless, um, that is my uh, contemporary thon day one. So not too bad. I finished two challenges out of the seven on day one. So I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Hope everyone is doing good. I'm excited to watch other people's vlogs. I am going to eat some special Oreos, if you catch my drift, and uh, melt into the couch and <laughs> read this. So I will uh, see you guys tomorrow for vlogs day two. Bye.